once again welcome to my workshop. Today we're going to be doing a, a small laser project uh, for the MIDI CNC router build. We're, we're going to be cutting at the front and the rear covers for the electrical cabinet out of acrylic plastic which is uh, five millimeter or quarter of an inch in thickness. Now a lot of people have asked me how to set a laser up and indeed how to get a successful cut. So what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to produce this video in reverse. As a lot of you prefer to see the laser in action and not particularly fussed about the CAD work and the setting up in the CAD. So for this video I'm going to show the laser operation first and then after that I'll show you the CAD work in LaserCut 6.1 and how I set up the laser output, power output to do the, a successful cut. Now it might sound easy but it's not. There's a lot of scientific knowledge, background knowledge that you need to know to operate a laser. And in my videos, I do try to give you that knowledge. So if you're new stats, I would advise you to go to the playlist that I have on my channel and uh, sift through those and uh, you know, I do start people off right from the very beginning. Uh, so we're going to do like a full spectrum here. Um, so um, I hope you enjoy it. So here we go. Okay, so what I'm going to do now, I've just pulled the laser nozzle or head over on top, onto the material. And I'm going to set this, it's, it's a metal plate that's got like rubber paint um, sprayed on it. So it doesn't mark the material. Just position underneath the nozzle. Now on the back of the nozzle there is a proximity sensor. And this is how this particular laser uh, automatically registered the Z. Now I'm just going to push a button on the uh, computer to tell the, the laser to well, focus the lens. It's as quick as that. That is now focused. So now I'm going to I'm going to move the head now over here to this corner and I will register that as the datum of the start of the program. So just move the head over by moving the a little touch pad buttons on the offline controller. This way. That's about, now I like to leave about a five millimeter line uh, on the outside. Um, it just stops the laser from uh, sort of warping the material too much. So now I'm going to set that as the data and I'll show you how I'm doing that by the touchpad. Okay, so to, to set the datum is very simple. Just press once, twice, right? Set the origin, set. And that is the file name that we named it. And uh, now it's in there. These relate to if I was to operate this manually. Okay, this does not relate to what is set up in the program. Okay, so we'll set this laser going. So the first thing I'm going to do now, now we've set the datum, I'm going to set this on a test. And what it'll do, the laser head will run around the material just to determine whether it's, it is going to lie within that material and we have it on there fairly square and uh, we have enough material there so here we go setting the test okay so if you just notice 
noticed it came off here a little bit. So we're going to move that like that. And we'll set test again. That's a classic reason why we use the test control. That's better. Okay. So what I'm going to do now is I will um, set the laser running and uh, I'll play you a little bit of music uh, so you don't get too bored. a very very quick little job it takes 
much longer to explain and show how to do a relatively simple job like this um, than what it actually does to, to draw it up and, and set the laser off to do it. The actual, actually the, the worst job of this is peeling this protective layer of plastic off like this. And getting it all well I got most of it anyway as you can see got most of it just got to pick the last bits off which actually just rub off with your, your, your finger fingernail and get them off fairly easy so there you are just made a, a grill for the little computer fans on the side covers for the MIDI CNC router electrical box. So I hope you've enjoyed that little video today. Please press like and uh, subscribe to the channel and if you would like to help the channel out to become a patron because it's the patrons behind this channel that you know keep it propped up and uh, of course then you're entitled to uh, download all the files and the extra videos that I put on my patron pages and you know the uh, drawings and designs for the MIDI router and uh, things like the 3018 upgrades so I hope you'll have a little bit more understanding of lasers now and go to my main page on YouTube in there you'll find that I have uh, made playlists up for all the different types of jobs that I do whether it be CNC writing, CNC milling or laser work there's only 30 videos on lasers now and of course the other projects that I make around here so thank you for joining me and I hope you pop in again so bye for now